You know, I really wasn't looking for a grad school experience. I was a communication major. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I wasn't looking for a reason to move back to the East Coast. I was going for teaching. I was got accepted into a PhD program. I was happy with 72 and sunny, but this is an opportunity that doesn't exist there. And that's saying a lot because it's the television capital of the universe. Exposure is the show that Cohort 2 is going to be working on for the next two years. Our show is about spot news photographers and videographers and the changing face of the way information is collected, the way we create imagery to tell the story of the city, to tell the story of the country and the world in an international city such as New York. Photography is a field that lends itself to quite a lot of drama. It's an interesting field. There's a lot of excitement just surrounding it. You're chasing down stories. It's all about perspective. Nothing is as simple as it seems. A photograph can be de deconstructed a million different ways. I mean, we're such an image-saturated society and culture, and this is a story about the people behind the frames of the images that we see. But it's also very character-driven. These are uh, five people who come together under traumatic circumstances, five uh, lone uh, freelancers, who uh, one night become a cohort of their own. And they, each in their way, represent kind of a different relationship to publicity, to exposure, to uh, the world of news. You have Laszlo, our protagonist, who's really um, a man kind of at a crossroads. He's a former priest trying to find a new life as a photographer. He's an empath. He's a perceiver. He's never really sure what's right, but he's searching for it. One of the things we're going to be trying to get at is this profound texture that is New York. All great cities are a layering of many, many times, and New York is not is like any other great city. Uh, in some ways, the texture of this show is going to be a hyper-reality, a ultimate 21st century post-9-11 uh, city of surveillance and stop and frisk laws and, uh, and a new way in which the citizenry has the power of the camera and doesn't have the power. And in another sense, it's about a very, very old city uh, in which a slave burial ground might be uh, suddenly exposed uh, as a result of a skyscraper project downtown. In a way, conceptually, it's, it's an opportunity for each student to sort of feed upon the stories of the city in much the same way that the show The Naked City did. Who better to tell this story than the young people coming into adulthood and some folks not so young but with enormous life experience who are going to be creating a unique thing together. So the band of brothers and sisters, you know, attitude that uh, struck me when I... My parents are journalists. My mom did an extensive investigative piece on this mafia boss who was in jail for a while. And then finally he died. And um, she ended up at the funeral. And after that, she just got death threats up the wazoo. And you'll get threats. From, like, people just despise you if you're a member of the press. And this is, uh, I think, an important thing to remember when if you're dealing with characters who are, are part of the press, that they're willing to go into a hostile environment every single day. Until then, you know, until someone wants the upper hand and says, oh, I might get the upper hand with, uh, with the cops. Guess what? I'm going to the press if you don't do this. And now the press doesn't seem like an enemy, but more like a, a way to get ahead a in, in any situation. It's so hard to just capture the objective truth about someone, especially in a limited kind of his medium as, you know, the photo. I mean, we spend, you know, you can write an entire biography and a person and still not quite get them. And it's, it's almost like, it's we, we revile them for like not getting it right, but in a lot of ways it's almost impossible. This is a dream come true for me. Norman Steinberg. Reading about Norman. I ran into Norman upstairs at Rutgers. He came to the campus to talk to a few of us. He tapped me on the shoulder, he said, so you want to be a comedy writer? Actually teaching a program at a movie studio uh, seemed like a brilliant idea. And you know what? It was. I really wanted a program that would show me how it is, not just how it is in theory. I knew instantly that this is something I really wanted to do. I think what drew me to TV as opposed to another medium, and what I find so exciting is that you have this intimacy with an audience. You know, you're in their house, you're there with them. I feel that the opportunity for real storytelling exists now on television like it never has before. It's like the LIU network and we're creating a, a real TV show that has real possibilities. So that is Exposure, and that is Cohort 2, and we're really grateful to be here at LIU doing it.
us your money. Give us your money. <laughs> <laughs>